Good evening, Crochet Club. I am ready to start our Teddy Bear Cal. We are starting on row 31, but I'm going to start with the end of row 32. We had nine whites, and then we built our last white block. And I just like to cover this decrease. Um, what we're going to do at the end of this row is we are going to slip stitch in between the third and fourth chain row of the block next to it and we are going to slip stitch turn your work and that means turn your work all the way around so that you're headed down in the other direction and then slip stitch at the top of each of these rows of this uh, white block and then into the top of the chain three slip stitch into that also and you turn your work, you're going to chain up three and double crochet between this third and fourth row. Double crochet three times. There we go. And then we will start on row 31. So now we need eight whites. So let's slip stitch, chain up three. And then between that third and fourth, we're going to double crochet. One, two, and three. One more time. We're going to go in between the third and fourth, slip stitch, chain up three, and then double crochet three times. One, two, and three and just keep connecting your blocks again we need eight white blocks so just keep connecting and chaining three and double crocheting three times I'm running out of string on this one so I'm going to go ahead and grab a new white string I've seen so many different ways of doing the corner to corner lately. I've been posting uh, how to videos and been watching them, and everybody seems to do this technique different. Um, there's a bunch of different mods to this. Okay, short string forward. I'm going to chain up two and then double crochet three times. So you're going to start somewhere, I'm assuming somewhere along the lines, you'll probably see another video. Maybe you'll just modify it yourself to what it works for you. Either way, um, let's pull out some white string here. Get yourself out a lot of white string. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to connect and do eight white blocks. Some of these mods are um, chaining two instead of three, chaining five for the increase instead of six. Um, yeah, just ways to make them denser. This is the one that has the looser, as you see, the little holes. When you look at it, it has more holes in it where there's a few other ways to do it where it's a little denser. So if you're looking for a thicker, denser blanket, there is a way to do that. So, let me get, hopefully not too far out of view here. Keep on making white blocks. Let me get a count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we have eight. So now I need three brown blocks. So I do have a brown string there. I'm going to go into the area between the third and fourth, grab that string, chain up three, and then double crochet three times. And we're going to build three of these blocks. And 
And then as you get into this, you're going to also realize, oh, the I guess the denser mod, uh, mod of corner to corner would be the one that uses, instead of the double crochet, it's going to use a half double crochet. So it's going to be about half the size of one of our blocks. So if you have, let's say, a, a graph that's really big, um, that would be the one you would want to use if you didn't want it to be so big. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so we're on our third brown, whoops, our third brown black. Whoops, jeez. I've been working on that. I haven't been using this hook. I've been using the tiny hook for the machilla bag. And my hands just don't like it. I'm going to stop and pull some of this yarn out. Okay. Alright, so now we are on to the next. We need one white. Give that a tug. Go in there, grab a white, chain up three, and double crochet between the third and fourth. One, two, and three. And that's one. Now we need two black. Looks like we have a white here that we're passing. Let me give this a cut. Okay, and I'm going to grab this black, give that a tug, and here we go. I'm going to go in, grab that black, bring it through the block and the loop, chaining up three, and then double crochet between that third and fourth, three times. Oops. We need two blacks, so go ahead ahead of me if you are handling your hook a little better than I am. <laughs> One, two, three, chain, and then double crochet again. One, two, and three. And that'll do it for that. And then we need ten brown. So we're going to go in, grab up that brown, bring it through the block, and bring it through the uh, loop, chaining up three, and then double crochet between that third and fourth row of that block three times. And then just keep connecting. Again, you need ten brown blocks. I'm probably going to have to add a brown color here. The string just pulled off the bobbin. But that's going to happen as you go along. You'll just keep adding new bobbins. Oops. I came across another kale yesterday. That was a... Um, that is going on. It is a horse scene. It is a black silhouette of a horse with an orange sky in the background. Very beautiful. So if you're interested in finding out information about that, you can come to the library or you can just ask me, post to me, and I will help you find it. getting ready to try my hand at a little of the Tunisian crochet. Uh, I've been watching some of the girls' blankets come through with that technique, and I really like it. So keep a watch. Maybe we'll mess with that. Oh, and first maybe I'll try the bobble stitch. There is a bobble stitch with a single crochet. So in doing the graph, it's single crochet, crochet as all the background. And then there's a bobble stitch um, for the graph, so it almost looks 3D. Very cool. I believe that is going to be my next 
the next graph again. Or I might make a pillow just to try it out. But something cool. Lots to try out there right now. And even been looking at the videos for the, I don't know if I got this pronounced right, but I think it's filet crochet. That's pretty cool looking too. And that has to do with graphs again, trying to cover all the bases on graphs. Anything that you can do, whatever style you can do with graphs. All right, let's get a count where we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We still need three. So, chaining up three and double crochet in three. Again, slip stitch. Blocks together, chaining up three. I'm going to set this down for a second and give this a yank. Okay. And then double crochet in three. I think I'm on my last one. Slip stitch, chain three, double crochet three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Okay, so we did our ten. Now we need seven white. So we are going to grab up this white here, give it a tug, and you're going to take this white all the way to the end. First, we are going to go in between the third and fourth. We're going to grab that string up, bring it through the block and the loop, chaining up three, and then double crochet between the third and fourth. Three times. One more time. We're going to go in between the third and fourth block, grab up the yarn, slip stitch, chain up three, and between that third and fourth, you're going to double crochet. And I want you to take this all the way to the end. Keep building up white blocks. Christmas is closing in. If you need graphs, for your blankets, if you, once you're done with this, I would like you to come to the library and I will help you find one. Or, like I said, there's a bunch of crochet alongs just like this. They're not video. I have found a couple videos. I found one with a ladybug, and that one is a double crochet, um, not a corner to corner, just a double crochet. And then I found one with a penguin, and that is Tunisian, I believe it was Tunisian. So, you want to try your hand, maybe not quickly, at a different style. I think you should probably stick with this until you know you know it. Otherwise, it's just going to get too confusing. But once you are ready for another style, I do have a couple others that you could try. But tons of written graphs um, along with the graph that you could jump to easily and pick right up. All right, let me pull this out. I'm at a point where I'm starting to get annoyed by not having enough yarn out. I'm just going to pull it all the way out. There we go. Okay, so we chained three, and double crochet three times into the hole between the uh, third and fourth. And we are at the end. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven whites, which is correct. Now we are going to. Here at the end, we are even, so we know we're there. We're going to slip stitch in between the third and fourth, grab up the yarn, slip stitch. We're going to turn our work, and I'm going to go back in the other direction that I, opposite direction. 
Get your string and everything steady in place. Alrighty. So now back to the top. I have slip stitched. We have our work turned. And now the block to the left of where you are, uh, the top of all four of these posts, you are going to slip stitch in and across. Slip stitch. Slip stitch. I don't know where my camera is. <laughs> and then there is the top of the chain three right there. So you're going to go right into that. Grab some string. And again, slip stitch. Turn your work, which is starting to fall all over the place on me. Chain up three. And then double crochet right there in between that third and fourth. One, two, and three. And you're going to grab up this next block here. You're going to go in between the third and fourth. Slip stitch, chaining up three. And then double crochet three times between that third and fourth. There we go. And as you can see, we do have our edge here. So that is what we're trying to do. Now we need seven whites. So let's get your work turned out around. I have something going on with my string. There we go. Okay. So, here we go. I'm going to go in, grab, slip stitch, chain three, and double crochet three times. There we go. And then again, we're going to go in here. Grab, slip stitch, chain three, and then double crochet between the third and fourth. There we go. And keep going, you need seven. So chaining three, double crocheting three. One, two, three, four, five. We need two more. So continue chaining, slip stitch, double crochet. Last one here. I'm going to go in between the third and fourth, grab some string, slip stitch, chain three, and then between that third and fourth, double crochet three times. One, two, and three. Very good. Okay, so our next, we would need ten brown. So he, we already have our brown here. I'm going to go ahead and give a yank on this brown. I'm not even sure. Oh, here we go. Ten. So I'm just going to pull mine right off. just going to bug me if I don't so okay there's our brown we're gonna give it a lift go in between the third and fourth grab it slip stitch chain three and then double crochet three times there we go go on to the next slip stitch chain three one Two, three, and then double crochet. And again, just keep on going. We need ten of these, so let's go right across the top here. 
chaining three and double crocheting. I'm sure some of you have seen your posts. I've been doing this for 30 plus years, 40 plus years. You know how to double crochet. And that's pretty much what we're doing. So just connect them and go. Wait up for me at the end. I just can't get my, I'm like all thumbs. That little hook is definitely breaking my fingers. It's not working here. I haven't done a video in a few days either. So, I just need to get used to this again. Chaining three, and double crochet three in the middle of each one. And so some of these, well, there, there's three styles, it sounds like. So the, the one we're doing, which we are chaining up three uh, and double crocheting three. And then the next style, I think it was, yes, it was at the beginning, instead of increase of six, it was an increase of five. And instead of a chain three, it was a chain two. That was a little different. And then the next mod is where you chain, I think it's the increase is chain five, but you're only doing a half double crochet instead of the all of these double crochets. And then a chain two, I believe. But that one, I'm not real sure on. That's the midi, mini uh, corner to corner, I believe. So I will have to try one of those here soon just to see. But I do know that it is about half the size of one of these blocks. So you'll be able to do a bigger graph. If you've had your eye on maybe a bigger graph, but you know that this is not going to work for you. I mean, you always have single crochet, half double crochet anyway, but that might be the better way to go. All right, let me get a count here and see where I am. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we have our ten. So now we need ten brown, one black. So right here we have a black. So let's grab that up and bring it through the black and the loop, chaining up three and double crochet three times in between that third and fourth. That's our one black. And then we need one white. And it looks like we do have our white here, so let's grab that. Go in, grab the white, bring it through the black and the loop, chaining up three. Double crocheting three times. Oops. There's our white. So now we need three brown. We do have a brown here, so let's grab. We're passing this black. So we're going to get rid of the black. I'm just going to toss it out of the way. Okay, so now we are going straight to this brown. And we need three of them. I'm going to chain up three. And double crochet three times, same as we've been doing. We need three browns. All right, this is our second. And our last one slip stitch, chain three, and double crochet three. Let's 
blanket's getting really bulky. Hard to hold on to. All right, there's our third. And now we are going to do eight whites. So just grab your white and go all the way to the end with this white. Slip stitch between the block and the loop. Sorry if you hear my TV. <laughs> it's a lonesome dub, I think. Kind of sounds a little off. Okay, so we are going to do the rest in white. So the rest of this row will be done in white. Just go ahead and slip stitch, chain three, and double crochet three all the way across. And that will complete this row. Just keep on going. Seen some really good projects going in Crochet Club. Some great projects actually. This lady done a rug. Uh, really nice. Very nice. I've seen ponchos. It's that time. It's fall. Ponchos, hats, scarves. I've seen a lot of Christmas stuff getting started. Not very long left before Christmas is here. I can't believe we're only a couple weeks away from Thanksgiving. Thinking about going to Chicago to see my daughter, so that will be nice. Your last time to go see her there. She's been switched to a different base, so I think it's a good thing to go there. I love going to Chicago, actually. <laughs> I even love taking the train there. It just feels like I'm going somewhere. <laughs> okay, so keep on going all the way to the end. Oops. One, two, three. Oh, I have all thumbs. haven't seen very many teddies being completed in the last few days. I had a group of five go up on the crochet wall the other day. It's so cute. Everybody did such a fantastic job. Okay, so there we are. We're at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, let me take a look. Eight. So we have our eight whites. We're almost done here. I'm going to show you that we are at the end, as you see. We're going to slip stitch into the third or fourth and just slip stitch. And this is where we're going to end until the next video, which will be the beginning of row 29. See you then.